This video will cover the topic, converting between radical form and exponent form. There's more than one type of radical. I think I've only seen square roots. Then let's start there. Let's look at the square root of 17. The square root symbol indicates the same operation as raising 17 to the power of 1 half. I'm not really sure I understand why. Expressions involving fractional exponents can be rewritten using radicals. We can convert between radical and exponential notations by using the following fact. x raised to the power of m over n equals the nth root of x raised to the m, which is the same as the nth root of x quantity raised to the m. Well, I can see that in this case 17 is x, but I don't see an m or an n. Remember that we can think of 17 as 17 raised to the first power. So m equals 1. And a square root sign with no shown n value indicates that n equals 2. Now that we see that m is 1 and n is 2, we can use our conversion equation to rewrite this as 17 raised to the 1 over 2. Is that conversion fact always true? In order for the equations to be true, the nth root of x must be well-defined as a real number. It is always well-defined when n is odd. When n is even, it is well-defined only when x is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, can we try a few more examples? Sure, let's take a look at these. The 8th root of 15 raised to the 7th power and 5 raised to the power of 3 fourths. For the first example, we are given an expression in radical form, so we want to convert it to exponent form. Based on the conversion equation, we can identify n as 8 and m as 7. x is 15, and now that we've identified x, m, and n, we can rewrite this radical expression as an exponential expression. We see that the 8th root of 15 raised to the power of 7 is equal to 15 raised to the power of 7 eighths. Why don't you try to convert the next one to radical form? Well, I know we put the base 5 underneath the radical. Then, looking at the conversion equation, we can write the denominator of the exponent 4 with the radical on the outside to indicate we are taking the 4th root and we can write the numerator of the original exponent 3 as the exponent of the 5 underneath the radical. Great work! This equals the fourth root of 5 cubed. Okay, so when converting between radical and exponent form, we use the fact that x raised to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of x raised to the n in order to rewrite our expression. It seems like you're getting the hang of converting between radical form and exponent form.